Hi everyone, I'm Hwan Young Lee. Today we will learn viewing transformation and projective transformation. It is it is way to control the camera to making scene rendered scene. So the viewing transform is very important. So it it has somewhat uh, the mathematical uh, background, but but it is not extremely hard, so we need just a linear transformation. Okay, let's go. So we are in, uh, we are running the OpenGL ES pipeline, but a, most of the viewing transformation is, is implemented with vertex shader. Okay, so of course it is possible to, some, some part will, can be implemented with texture and shader. It is very a special case. So, the, so most of the viewing transformation, project transformation is uh, done by vertex shader. It is because linear transformation. Okay. And the first thing we need to know about the coordinate system. Coordinate system means that the, uh, in general, we need to define X, Y, Z, the axis, position, and direction. So before that, we need to know some terminology, the, it, the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom means that it is uh, it is uh, some controllable, controllable independent variable. It means that, for example, if we have some kind of an object, then it has it has a uh, in geometrically it has a it has a six degree of freedom normally. Why? It is because it can it it can have x y z position, and then it can have some position. Okay, position of some point has some kind of position, and then it it can have 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 the direction orientation of object. For example, rotation. Uh, rotation Y, rotation X, rotation Z is possible. So, so the one point or one object can have one solid object can have six degree of freedom. Okay, X Y Z rotation or X and X Y Z the translation. So, we we can define that some some objects position and orientation with six degree of freedom. Okay. And let's think about the camera. Camera. So I'm sorry, but I add some ca I add some cube in here so I can move it. Uh, in in new version of a PowerPoint, we can add a three dimensional object in 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 presentation. For example, I can rotate this yeah cube. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I can rotate the 3D shape. So, in in all the age of graphics, so they painters draw draw something with this some kind of tools. So they made some kind of a grid, and then it, it is locate it is located near the, the the object, and then then painter draw with the reference with with this green grid uh, intersection so it's a quite commonly used technique for painters okay so and then and then we can think about that so for example this picture this picture for example we can we draw something in some plane Normally, normally the, the 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 painted result is is located in in plane. Maybe it is possible to draw on the on the on the some curved object or some curved shape. For example, I can draw something in in column column, or I can draw something in in some dome side of ceiling that is possible but it is not normal but 
in general, in general, the painted result is drawn on the plane, 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 not covered surface. So, in plane, we can locate one plane in front of our eye, eye, and then we can locate it, the, the 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 projection plane in here. We call it we call it is projection plane projection plane and then watching that so maybe projection plane will be transparent or half transparent and then we can we can watch the object to draw and then and then we fixed our low eye position and we fixed our yeah the projection projection plane and then we can draw with with the, the display, the image can be drawn with some pencil or pen or something. So then we can draw some very the, the realistic picture with with this technique. For example, I can I can use this thing. So you, you can see that. So I can watching something and then I draw it. It's very simple simple concept. To mathematically calculate it, we need to calculate this, this, uh, this uh, put, put point. It is not, it, it is not exactly the same position of look I. So it is some kind of a, some kind of a very, some ideal point. Normally in the backside of I, but it, this location is very important because it is. It, it it became to the the reference point of a, of a picture, so we call it it, it it is vanishing point, vanishing point. Okay, so with using the this vanishing point, we can we can redefine the coordinate system. Okay, let's go to the the so modern age. So in in modern age, maybe actor actor is acting in in the world. So we take a photo or movie with camera, okay, with camera. So so the the some final the film rendered uh, film rendered the, the result will be decided by by location or orientation of. Uh, orientation of actor and location and orientation of camera so so it is so natural it is so natural so so if actor watching this camera then we can get the front face of actor then if you if the actor is moving to hit this direction then in the scene in the scene with this camera, the actor will be going, going pro, going left. So, actually, the actually the the it, it, you can see that. So it is actor's right hand. So actor is moving right, but so we can see the actor is moving left in the film. Okay, so we need to define. Define the transformation of camera and transformation of actor. So, in previous lecture, we learned how to rotate and how to translate and how to scaling. So that is a so fine transformation of model. We we learned how to rotate and how to translate this cube. But to make to make the the scene, to make scene, we need to know that we need to control. We need to know how to control the camera. Okay, so so it depend it because the the if we are looking at this object, then length of the scene is does not have cube. It is so natural. Okay, so we need to learn. The camera transformation. Uh, before defining uh, camera, 
and projective transformation and, and during transformation we need to something about camera so in camera so we we already learned the three degree of freedom concept so for example in this camera camera has of course it is position okay so camera can move x y z direction and also camera has some kind of direction if if we can call it it is in camera we can have uh, so camera coordinate system with light hand so x direction y direction z direction for example okay so x y z okay so z is very important z direction positive z direction is watching direction lens in here lens is in here so z direction positive z direction is watching direction and negative jet direction is the backside of camera okay and then it also have it also have some kind of a parameters kind of lens parameters for example if i take a photo with this camera then some area is take will be taken it means that it has some kind of a range of of view so so if we can we can uh, reduce the we can small range of uh, angle we can see then we sometimes we call it is zoom lens zoom lens is some watching very small area okay so if we if camera can watching the wide angle is we we call that is a wide very wide angle lens wide lens or wide angle lens sometimes we, if it is um, much more than almost near the 180 degree of field of view then sometimes we call it, it fish eye lens fish eye lens you can see that the so fish eye is somewhat okay. some yeah some 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 i can i can explain that it's a semi sphere shaped and it, it and they can see almost more than 180 degrees range so so we call it that kind of lens is the fisheye lens and so because of a wide angle lens, lens or something so sometimes it looks like some kind of a projection is done in done in some kind of a non-linear for example the, if if we can uh, we can lower that uh, the projection plane, then we can get some this kind of result or this kind of result. Then it is because we call it is lens distortion, lens distortion. Maybe it is so so normally normally in general the film film or CCD sensor does not have that kind of shape or this kind of shape. So normally it is occurred by lens so we call it lens, lens distortion so sometimes we need to control the, the quantity of light so if we, if we cross the iris then the small quantity of light coming through the, the lens so it will be the lens of the scene will be darkened and then if we open that the, the iris then the the large quantity of light will come to the film then we can get more bright scene okay so we need to control the, the, the brightness and we need to control the position and then we need to fill the view we need to control the field of view and we need to, to control the, the lens distortion however the we will not we will not control the the lens distortion because uh, the, we just we will just dealing with only linear okay so the the lens distortion is out of scope of our tutorial lecture okay so of, of course it is possible to making make the lens distortion with 
with the WebGL or OpenGL, yes, but you, you can study with by Googling, okay? So we were just dealing with we are dealing with only linear transformations, so we will only deal with linear camera. Uh, there is a two, two kind of ideal camera. The one is the parallel camera, and the second thing is perspective camera. So we can say that it is kind of a two kind of projection. What does it mean projection? So we, we can think that we are drawing something on this plane, okay? On this projection, in this plane, we will draw something, okay? Then it means that we can project, project to this, this plane. We can draw some, some imaginary the line to some, to straight line to here to here to some kind of oh, sorry some object then we can draw some point 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 in here so we can say that it is kind of a projection mm -hmm. there are two kind of projection uh, we can divide it into by some vanishing vanishing point in case of vanishing point is finite position then we can call it perspective projection perspective projection it means that part side uh, the object is smaller than near side for example you can see that so yellow ball is bigger than black ball so yeah it's the same as our eye or normal camera okay parallel projection this one okay perspective one this one the parallel projection is slightly different the, the vanishing point is in in infinity so so it, it is red ball size and the yellow ball is physically same but it is the distance between camera to 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 object is different but the render the scene is result is same it means that it means that we can say that it is very narrow field of view and then the camera is going going very far then we can get this result it's vanishing point is in in here infinity and then f of v is almost zero it's, it's, the, the, the vanishing point is the infinity and f of v is almost zero, then we can get this result. We call it orthographic projection or parallel projection. It is because, why it is, we, we call it this parallel projection? It is because the original para, two parallel line maintain its parallelity after projection. So we call it uh, the parallel projection. Can you remember that? If it is parallel, parallelity is uh, reserved by after after transformation. We call it yeah affine transformation. Sometimes we pronounce it as a fine transformation. Fine transformation is yeah maintaining the parallelity to parallel line after transformation. It is maintaining parallel. Then it is affine transformation. So therefore, therefore, the the parallel projection is affin transformation. Okay, and perspective transformation is not affin transformation. Sometimes we call it projective transformation, or to pro, so, so it is very confusing. But so so I would say perspective transformation and perspective viewing. Okay. And what the let's let's define the what we are trying to do that. So final target is we are in here. So camera the, the vanishing point so maybe we can say that the camera position I position in here, okay? And there is a, some kind of a uh, near plane, near plane 
We apply can be we can think that it is a some pillum or is a projection plane or something. So and we want to draw some area area. So why why we need that? Because of course let's think about it. I'm drawing something. I'm drawing this lead case, a glasses case. So should I draw some some door in door of my office? Should I draw maybe it is possible? We we should we should draw we must draw something. So should I check the some building outside of my my office? Should I check the some city of my should I check the my nation? Should I check the some moon? Should I check the some other galaxy, for example, Andromeda galaxy is in this direction. Should I check the some, 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 uh, uh, outside of the universe or something? So, it is not possible. Of course, it is not possible. So we need to set the range. Okay, we need to set the range. So, so the, so physically, the, we need to set the some drawing range and. We will learn next lecture. We will do, we will do depth testing. Depth testing is, so if it is, it is, we draw something and we draw something, then in front of, in front, the A object is in near the camera, B object is, is overlapped, then A object disappeared, dis displayed and the B object is not displayed, this part, okay? So to do that, we, we call it, it is a hidden surface removal or hidden point removal or hidden something. So we, we need to hide something behind the object A. Then to do that, we use in WebGL and OpenGL, yes, we use the, 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 we use jet buffer technique, jet buffer technique. Of course, j buffer, it is buffer. Sometimes we call it is depth buffer. Buffer is, normally the buffer means memory. So, memory is finite resource. So we need, if, if we make it, this this thing is too big, then the, we need huge quantity of memory. So it is not possible to all allocate the huge memory to depth buffer testing. So, if we assign some limited resource, but it has some kind of bit depth in G buffer. So, if we we can, if we, for example, you can divide this area with just the sixteen step, then then it is not possible to separate in located in here and located in here. So, so. We cannot decide which one is front, which one is back, by the, the because of the just only sixteen step of depths. So, if the the solution is we can increase, for example, two hundred fifty six step of depths, then there are so many steps. Then okay, it is separated. Or another way is we we reduce shrink the depth range then. In only objects I in this area, we can precisely define it. Then 16 step, then we can separate in. Uh, oh, it is front, it is back. Okay, we can decide what is front is what is backside. So, so the near plane and far plane is well should it should be well defined. Okay. Okay. Then, then we will define some kind of a near plane, far plane, and the center. Uh, the center line will be will pass the center. Sorry, center of these two plane. We have two two plane. The normally it is square, square. Then 
we can define some kind of a the geometric shape like this. Okay? It 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 is looks like this one. I will view it top side then this one. Okay? Uh, okay. Then it it is it is shape of the if there is a pyramid, I cut the top part, then we can get this kind of shape, okay? We call this we call this shape is frostum. Frostum, okay? The the pyramid and oh no sorry, pyramid and cutting top, then that shape is frostum, okay? Frostum. We call this frostum is viewing frostum. Viewing frostum. What is final target? Yes, we map remap this pro, uh, prostum into this one normalized device coordinate which is xyz is located in here but it is not true it's not true actually the uh, okay yeah so it is the yes so, so it's kind of a cube its size is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So not not zero. It is so from size is two. So minus one to minus plus one, and minus one to plus one, and minus one to plus one. But look at that. X Y Z is left-handed coordinate. You can see that left -hand. X Y Z. Yeah. It is left left hand. It is not possible to making that shape with right hand. So, with left hand system. So, and normally, normally, we can think that. Okay, I will remove it. So we can think that there is some kind of monitor. Okay monitor in here and maybe web browser is in here okay then we open canvas in here here okay then we should move this coordinate into, into the center of here okay here here is 0 comma 0 x y coordinate and just start with it here 0 comma 0 comma 0 and then, if, if we are watching the web browser, we are, we are, we are watching, then it's going to, to inside monitor direction is jet direction, okay? And far side is, far side is 1.0, and the on the screen, on the screen is 0, 0.0. That space is ideal normalized device coordinate in WebGL and OpenGL. Yes. Okay. So that's the that's the ideal shape of viewing viewing volume. Okay. So we can I will step by step explain how to make it that is possible. Okay. Okay, let's set the camera. Before that, before we, the, in last class, we learned how to change the transformation and projection. But before that, we drew triangle in first class. So how can you do that? It is because the, it is because in initially, initially, WebGL or OpenGL define initial camera. Initial camera is is yeah parallel, not not projective, parallel transformation with this coordinate with this coordinate. The pro, so oh, so actually it is so minus one and plus one is this also right-hand system and then and then 
camera located in here to watching this direction. This direction. It is initial camera, so we can see the triangles. Okay. Okay. First, we need to set the position of camera. Okay. Okay. Initial camera was located in the center of XYZ coordinate with right hand system. So, if if we put that that cube with with uh, some some origin, so you already doing your homework with the making cube. The cent the cube coordinate is zero point zero point five five or of size x 0 0.5 of of some y size and z size so the the coordinate origin is located in 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 the middle of the, this cube like this like this like this here cube is in here okay then if we if we want to watching this cube in the in the origin so natural that is, so we should translate the camera. It, it means that initial point of a, okay, I will show you. So box is empty. So initial position of camera was inside of box, but if we want to watching the watching this box, then we should move to to somewhere with lens direction, okay? With lens direction, okay, it is so natural, so natural. We should move to move to to jet direction, okay. So it is so natural that we need to translate into jet direction, okay. So then it is if we translate camera with direction then it is same as moving this object to this direction so so it means that camera movement is the reverse movement of the object okay if we not just only translate if we rotate for example rotate 30 degree then, then, it is same as opposite direction, 30 degree rotation with about this center of camera. About, okay, if we rotate 30 degree, then it is same as rotate opposite direction, 30 degree with center about axis, axis with center of this camera it is same it means that camera transformation camera transformation is same as reverse of object transformation model transformations of inverse so all transformation in can be we, we explain that transformation is explained with matrix in our WebGL code, we explained with the matrix pool, pool by pool matrix. So, if we, we can make the camera movement, then if we make the inverse matrix, then it is it can be applied to to model. Okay, so it is very it's be, very basic idea of camera transformation. Okay, so in to do that, so we 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 calculate we calculate the something. So so in pic in pix gks three D in all the API they use the three vectors. So one thing is one thing is viewing Laplace point. So for example, so the center of the, the the camera position. Okay, camera position first, and then. Uh, view plane normal. View plane normal is this direction, range direction. Okay, range direction. And, and, and view up vector is this, this vector. 
so cameras of vector because if we can oh if we can define this vector and then camera can even though we defined this vector but it is possible to camera can roll, roll it with the same same view view plane normal vector so we need to define this one so we can we need we can define camera with position and this vector and this vector so i explained that camera has six degree of freedom but hey it this okay xyz position one two three this this normal vector xyz one two three this this back up vector so one two three it is independent variable is nine nope it is not nine degree of freedom okay it is because it is because th this but because this equation so so n square the, the normal vector is kind of a rotation angle so so normalized the, the vector is always is, had have a same value so it is not independent value because it is dependent value so it it just required only only three rotate degree of freedom have it so and position has three degree of freedom so six degree of freedom so with this the with this three uh, so three position vector and normalized uh, normalized normal plane normal normal means okay i will explain it this, there are so many normal and normalized and normal something so up i if i say normal vector then if there is a kind of surface then in 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 reference point it is perpendicular to if it is perfect the normal vector means some vector perpendicular to this surface for example for example in this you can see that this cup in this point normal vector is in here in this point normal vector is in here in this point is normal vector is in here 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 normal vector is normally <laughs> normally in general normal vector is normalized its size is one okay scale 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 and on uh, all component is added then its size is one okay the vector size is one 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 normal vector okay it is normal vector normalized means it its size is scaled into into some some area or some range for example minus one to one or zero to one if it's scaled into that range then we say that it is normalized okay normal vector and normalized vector okay normal vector is perpendicular vector over surface point okay and normalized vector is vector size is size of vector is one okay and then there is normal vectors and vector of up vector then you can calculate it with this equation okay how can you calculate it oh it means means calculation uh, uh, is with this that okay we can translate and rotate and translate and rotate and world coordinate and translate and rotate it, it is q vector so we can calculate it but the problem is uh, this calculation is not easy because it is very hard to calculate hard to calculate the normal vector and up vector so we change the equation uh, approach the, it is look at approach look at approach is we can set the camera position and then the so camera is camera location and then camera is watching something oh yeah camera is watching this point this origin or something then then we, we can automatically define that the the normal vector normal camera 
viewplane vector and then we can set up vector this one this up vector should oh can you see that this up vector should and de define then we can so easily calculate that camera location so we do this look at look at uh, approach then look at calculation is oh yeah so i position and at position i position at look at target position and then a vector with that you can we can calculate vrp camera position and plane vertex and a vector with that we can uh, calculate it okay okay i'll show you some camera concept with uh, some 3d modeling tool the tool name is blender blender is free software you can download in from internet and you can use it with free of charge okay so there is camera and object object is located in in the center of coordinate and then we can see that the so camera is look at this object watching the, the the origin okay so if we render if we render with with uh, this camera then we can get this result okay so so this is very interesting okay so first thing in uh, the so we are watching with this camera not this camera we are watching this cam so the camera we can control that camera okay we can rotate and some control camera then i will set the, the same viewing direction and with i will zoom it okay okay so it is not easy so oh so it we need to uh, rotate it okay but but it is not easy but oh yeah we can predict the camera view and the what is parallel and what is perspective yeah okay this thing is we can control that with with the, the but it is parallel transformation we can change you can change our view with the parallel transformation all parallel line is parallel okay and if we change the perspective transformation then the, it is changed to, to perspective view okay it is different okay and and we can control that rotation okay y rotation is zero but if we rotate in here this direction oh it is very strange rotation okay so it's not easy to control it okay so with rotation it is not easy to control that that uh that the what is watching what is looking at something so okay if we move to something in here then we can control the cut camera then let's see those our code let's see the, our code in view folder there is a hello.js file i will uh, change this code i will open it with vi editor and then let's go so in last class we changed we changed the shader code with with like this m matrix v matrix p matrix and then M matrix is sent M matrix model matrix the, the, the transformation of model object and then V matrix is view matrix and P matrix is projective matrix and the P matrix V matrix M matrix is multiplied like this so it is applied like this order M matrix first and second V matrix and third P matrix let's go to the how to make the, the v matrix v matrix is built by some function function it is its name is okay look at okay 
so I said matrix for it means that we use GL matrix dot JS so V matrix result will be stored in V matrix and then then the position 0, 0, 2 0 it is position of camera and then it is position of target and then it is effect so camera is if it cube is in here then camera is moved to this direction to with size of two to jet direction and then the watching the origin watching the origin effect sorry effect is this direction x y y direction zero one zero okay then automatically the matrix look at matrix the v matrix is generated is sent it to v matrix p matrix is we use we will learn the perspective okay if we change this matrix with okay let's change the value if we, okay let's see the result Yes, this is a result. Okay, something we are not good. Oh yeah, we, we don't like it because we. Why it is because this light is slanted, so it is because we translate the matrix with zero point five. I will change it zero, and then I will load it. Then it will be located in center. We are rotating it. Then we can see it. If if we change it into the position of camera with three and save it, then we can get okay reload it. Oh yeah, it is much smaller. It is because it is perspective view, and then it is if we are going further to to object so. The size of cube will be small, smaller than previous status. Okay, okay. So, if we move to the position of camera with some other direction, then we can get like this. As we are watching in somewhat going up, going up, and going going back and going up direction so we can get this result so we are watching 0 comma 0 comma 0 then the the point will be in the so we are the center will be in here so we are watching here for example 1.0.5 0 0.5 0, 0 then it will be slightly different result we can get okay maybe one of the uh, vertex has this kind of coordinate okay so let's see it this one then it is rotating but the, the center of camera is uh, watching this direction okay so we can easily can control this the camera okay so okay it is very good i will back to send and then if we change the up vector then result will be slightly different okay so for example i will change the effect then the reload it so effect is ca camera's effect is different so it changed the is a, the render the scene will be different okay yeah we can get this result with gl matrix is a look at function so let's go to let's watch that as uh, a geometric function okay okay beam edit with beam then let's go to look at okay it is very similar to yeah i vector up vector center center if it's i vector and center vector is a so minus vector and if it is epsilon then what does it mean it is epsilon if camera is 
to to near the target, then it is not possible to calculate the, this this vector. Can 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 you if for example if the vector is same, the 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 camera position and the target position is same. We can we cannot decide the, the direction. So if it is as distance, then we can calculate the direction. But it is merged into one point. It is not possible. So in this case, that is error. So but if we cannot uh, give up the, this drawing, so it returns the identity matrix. Okay. Oh yeah. So so because identity matrix is default thing okay so and then they calculate an effect and something they they calculate some angles and then they calculate output vector okay so we can use look at look at function for deciding the camera position and orientation okay there is one more thing so projective matrix uh, Project transformation. There are two kind of tra uh, to transformation exist. Uh, the one thing is orthographic, the parallel projection, and second thing is perspective transformation. And in case of orthographic and parallel projection, then we can define the the viewing volume with with this viewing volume. So. Viewing volume can be some kind of a box shaped, and then so we can uh, get uh, the value of a uh, left left bottom corner and uh, near corner and view volume is in uh, the the right top far, and then we can set at the 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 that is far value. So, but look at that. So there is uh, some kind of a near far value is in in minus uh, uh, negative sign is in here so it means it changed the direction of uh, direction of uh, some some place so actually if we use if we use minus option then minus minus option in here then we can get the shape of like this if we use plus value then we can get the minus this this direction is uh okay, okay yeah minus direction this direction is plus okay so let's test it with our code okay okay we have the this code uh, I will change look at with the original position and then and then I will change the twist angle then let's check it again the, the load it okay good and then I will change the the there is a, some kind of perspective I'll change it into orthogonal transformation okay so orthogonal transformation has the parameter of mat pole that in geometrics there is also function is so function is the first thing is out uh, uh, matrix so it should be p matrix and then left corner left corner i will check it minus two right corner two the bottom corner so minus two uh, top corner two two and then I will set it with near plane is I will set it near is near is in 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 case of a light world coordinate is light handed system so I will set it as a near near camera is two and then so the the pass side cam is two minus two. Then I think that that the volume will cover our cube. Okay. Then let's check the let's check the result. Okay. Then 
reloaded. Oh, it does not appear. Okay, it does not appear. Okay, so I think it is the problem of the the value. So I will change it into into the minus degree, uh, some minus negative things. Then I'll load it. Nope. Okay, it does not appear in the picture, so I will change it with the okay, DFR value to so it is related to the camera. So is it camera already moved to to zero point zero point three? So I will change it the, the near value is one two uh, maybe I will add this three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, two, seven. Then, okay, load it, load it. Yes, it appears. Okay, and then I load it. The problem is, the problem is, okay. So when uh, when we are using perspective transformation, it was cube, but it it changed the box shape is changed. So it is somewhat problem. It is because uh, so I, we want to change it. Why we wh why this kind of thing is happen to this rendering? It is because the the screen size is eight hundred and and screen the the, the canvas with it is 800 but its height is 600 so we need to change it with this value so we need to add more for example we need to add more for example we apply to 800 divided 600 then we can get a more precise rendering okay we load it Okay, then we can rotate it. Rotate with x axis is correct. Rotate with the y axis. Why why rotate it with that direction? So because it is we are watching it. Okay. Then I don't know why, <laughs> why it is rotating in this that direction. I will change it perspective again. Then load it. Oh, wh why it is rotating wrong with wrong direction? So, oh yeah, it is because of vector problem. Okay. So we are looking at effect. We need to change the effect originally. Then we can get yeah. So right, right rotation. Okay, and then we will go going back to orthogonal view. Then we can get the orthogonal rotation. Okay, so. Okay, let's learn the, the perspective transformation matrix. So, with the value of viewing transform, viewing proston in here, so we can define proston with left bottom or near and then light top far and the, the near value, far value. Then, automatically, is we can calculate the, the scaling with the, the near far ratio and then. We need to change the, the coordinate of that uh, jet coordinate. It is because we need to change the value. So we will check the, the, the matrix. And then we need some kind of a with jet jet value with that with this ratio. So the jet value will be changed will affect it to x y coordinate with homogeneous coordinate. Naturally, it will be if if the, the object is far from the eye then it will go it will be smaller than it will have x-y coordinate is became smaller so it goes to center point so 
So perspective view is changing the x y coordinate with respect to z value. So, and then how can you use it? How can and the so we, if we can so precisely to find the viewing first term, it is possible to use this equation, but sometimes it's not easy. So we can use the more much it's a much uh, precise uh, so simplified form we can use as field of view and aspect ratio if we have an aspect ratio and uh, the field of view value then we can uh, calculate the same thing with this equation so it is much simpler then then how can we use how can we use it so yeah we are we will use the geometrics in geometrics there is uh, some also function we already tested it being if we know being pre, being plus term then we can use this function and then we, if we can use the fov and aspect with with the, the pro projective matrix then we can use it but also I don't know how to use it, but please research it yourself. Okay, so let's check the perspective code. Okay, okay. Then in code, there is uh, some kind we already changed in also, but I will use perspective. And then, if we change the 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 uh, field of view, then if I will increase the value th then okay i write it and then okay reload it then if i, I make it a uh, much more wider angle then object will be smaller okay object will be smaller okay and if i change it near value and near value and uh, par value then if I ch moved into two point much more near then it means that okay then I will save it I change the near value then reload it uh, nothing changed okay so if i change the the, the perspective of the power value to four then it does not change i think reload it but in case of rotating there is a something problem okay it is cutted by some by some some something so we we can we know that we we can notice that so ah uh, yeah this near value and far value can affect some depth testing so so it means that it, I I said that the near value is two but in this rotation the the in the it is near the much much more much um, close the it is going outside of the near clipping plane then it is clipped into like this so it, it is cutted so we, we say that it is clipped so so we need to we need to well organize the value we need to set the well organized value of near and far value okay so in that case we need to change it 1.5 then We can get good result. Okay, Lot rotate it. Yeah, there is no clipping. It's occurred. Okay. So now you can uh, set the the value of uh, but uh, projection matrix. So let's see the the, the matrix of uh, projection matrix. In I added the console that log p matrix. So let's see the p ma projection matrix with debugging tool then it said that okay some value and zero 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 and zero zero seven so 
in bottom there is the final uh, in final row there is also minus one so it means and the the homogeneous coordinate the, the projection is not one it, it is zero so zero one it is connected no there zero one two three and the 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 this part is minus one so uh, we, we can see that that yes this part is some minus we can we can check the minus one there is so it changed the co jet coordinate to with value so think about it then near value will be near value will be a jet coordinate final jet coordinate will be some in there it, it will be zero and if jet coordinate is in here the pi near is in here pi is in here then the jet coordinate will be changed it from zero to one okay zero to one it changed into zero to one okay so it is because we, we neg negated the jet value and we the so to change the the coordinate system so if we multiply the projective matrix then we can think that it is like this left hand coordinate with 0 2 1 space in in screen okay please practice and test it with with this code then you can you can see the result so Sometimes uh, so the cube is disappeared, then don't worry about that. Change it, change it. You can get the, the point of uh, the projective matrix and being matrix. Okay, have a nice day.